What's up, YouTube land? That word fucked here. Titans return, just like a drug. Keeps dragging me back for more until it completely breaks my wallet. And today, it's Cup's turn. Or should I say Sergeant Cup? Because that's how Hasbro gets around copyright without having to just call him Cup. He's called Sergeant Cup. So... Here he is. You see the toy right there. His accessories. Transformers. I really, really like that artwork because he really looks pissed off at something. And I don't want to be in his way. Just a picture of the alt mode. We've seen this all this stuff countless, countless times. Pictures and things and cross cells and bios. Flintlock and Sergeant Cup. Flintlock gives Sergeant Cup the ability to blast enemies with bursts of metal melting acid. So my drug reference was completely spot on. <laughs> also, if anyone can help me get a hold of a uh, Titan's Return Perceptor, that would be very appreciated. But now, it's time to get this old timer open and see if we can stand up to the scrutiny of a 25-year-old Canadian nerd. So here he is. Open up and in his vehicle mode and we'll take a look at the collector's card first. Pretty much that same piece of artwork with that same angry face. Here are his tech specs for Sergeant Cup and Flint Lock. If you're curious at all about that. Obviously the instructions and the figure itself and he is a pickup truck uh, hence the name Cup so the legend says he is not a bad truck he's definitely uh, going for more G1 look so for comparison here is the uh, was it Generation Sergeant Cup I believe in uh, Japan it was United Footy jokes and all that. But this is the most recent previous cup action figure. I do not count the one from Transformers Prime just because I don't have it. Okay. Yeah, you can see they're going for very vast different looks. I don't know if vast vastly different is that the proper word this this one is definitely going for like a more uh, earth mode looking truck while this one not necessarily looking like an er like something you'd see on earth um while cup it, cup was the main lead in the movie and season 3 of the cartoon i'm not sure if he was actually on earth if this is his earth mo mode then Hey, calling me a bad fan. I just don't know. But we will take these guns off and get a good look at it. It's a two-tone off green. Would you call it green? We'll just call it green. Doesn't really... The bit... Hmm, does not look very good to me. The, my biggest complaint with the figure is the color scheme. Because... This this guy, I hate to bring him back up, but this guy, well, probably still not accurate to the cartoon. This guy actually looks like he's one solid color, you know. This toy was back when I was still painting rims silver. Haven't done that in a long time. 
but save for this bit of the chest, his truck mode is actually one solid color. Well, this guy is two-tone and looks pretty broken up. The cab kind of looks like a completely different piece than the supposed trailer. And at least he has one thing on his G1 toy. He actually has a... Uh, did I bump the camera? What do you call uh, this piece? Uh, I forget. I'm not good with trucks. Uh, but <laughs> I say that because the G1 toy had basically nothing back here. Although this one's not perfect, you can see quite a few gaps in it. It's not the most uh, solid pickup truck. Gap right there. Gap, 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 gap. Oh, and he's got good old visible hand syndrome there right there. And you could call it visible head syndrome, but it's somebody actually driving. I'll get back to that shortly. He does have greenish rims, which roll very well. Just roll rather smoothly on this uh, rough wooden surface. Uh, I'm not sure if everything's lined up completely, though. Uh, on the bottom, you can kind of see, you can just see his hips and his crotch. But he does transform rather interestingly. It took me like, a couple... Honestly, it took me a couple seconds to figure it out. Maybe a minute or so, but... Hmm. Let's get him out. You do have a nice, uh... Silver outlined Autobot insignia right there. We can take a look. There's nothing really much in the uh, cab of the truck. Okay. Yeah, there are some bits of molded detail, which I'm not sure what they are. Because I imagine you have doors somewhere up here. I don't know what you have out here. And you do have for what I assume are headlights and a bit of a grill. So, yeah. here's uh, Flint Lock. And just like every uh, Titan to Turn figure that was a Target Master, this guy, Flint Lock is named after Cup's Target Master, but now he's just a very boring head, solid gray, armed with a green chest. You can't, you can barely see the detail on his head. But, he does have the say, have the generic Titan Master articulation, which I never talk about because it's really insignificant. But, the other thing we have are these guns, which I do kind of look, I do kind of like the sculpt of them. They kind of look like hand cannons, which is really cool. Until you look at this piece, which kind of just like looks awkward and in the way, but you do get two of them because they can combine into a, I guess, a weapon station, which you can probably plug Flintlock into. Let's see, Flintlock. Well, it doesn't actually feel like there's a proper place to put him. Like, oh well, okay. There, there are actually pegs. Are they pegs? Yeah, they're pegs right in there. So, in theory, you should be able to plug his feet right in there. You go. And then you can plug that there. Or there. You also have ports right there. And right there, if you so choose to plug in... Uh, let's give him a gun on each side. I mean, that doesn't look too ridiculous. I mean, at least he can use them here, because on the back ports, they'd just be firing to the back of the truck. For Titan Master, you have these uh, six pegs, I believe. If they all work yet. I th well, I don't really want to press too hard, because I'm going to pull the freaking truck apart. But you can peg him in there. You can 
peg them in uh, here. You can probably peg them into one there and have another guy right there. And you can peg him into right there. Okay. This is definitely a uh, party truck for all your little... <laughs> Are your little mini dudes redundant? Redundant, but we have to transform him because that's you know the thing of a transformer. That's what they're supposed to do. So where do we start first? We're gonna take these sides and un peg them. Uh, separate the legs, and where are we gonna go? We're gonna fold them. Uh, we're gonna fold this bit. And fold that bit right there. Fold that around. That'll uh, lock, tab into right there. Tab that in. And tab this bit into up there. So it, it'll fold there and there. And you also want to tab this bit, the front of his leg in. And if it's not too late, you there's a little nubbin on his foot to flip his foot out and flip that piece back and that'll for, that'll cover the gap made by come on what am I talking about? It'll cover that gap up nicely Flip the camera again so he got a uh, leg all done second verse oddly same as the first fold this this will unlock Swing down, that pegs in, that pegs in, that pegs in, flip the foot, come on foot, there we go, make sure everything's locked together, and that can, can that, will that, yeah, the, well that's about all the tapping you're going to get. So then you want to uh, hinge this down, so it's like that. This is where the neat part comes in with the uh, the chest folding. So first we're just going to fold the arms out to the side, get them out of the way. You're going to want to take these two tabs, peg them into right there, take the, take the uh, windscreen, I mean to do that, but fold that down and fold that and make sure to then accordion this piece so it goes in here and that's the chest. Full, uh, rotate the by shoulder, unpeg the arm and make sure the wrist goes back into place. Do the same thing on the other arm and now we need a head. So take the lock, fold his legs back, and just plug him into place. It's actually very solid connection. So have you know, a hard time. Come on. Go into your go into your home. There you go. Ah and there's cup. Sergeant Cup. I should say, in his robot mode. I definitely like it. That transfer, that transfer, <laughs> that transformation, I'm not cutting that to put it on blooper, although I might. Mm, I might cut that to put it on bloopers. Well, transformation is definitely fun. It's a little bit more involved than you expect. I really like how the legs, like, Oh. I like how the legs go from really thin, uh, long panels to really thick, bulky shins. That's a really cool trick. And the waist compression makes sure there is no kibble at all, which is very nice in a cup figure. Or any figure in general. Zero kibble is very nice. I'll just say it. Uh, taking a look at his head... I really hate the amount of gray here. It's just... It's it's hard to see. It's hard to see his eyes. 
But he, for some reason, he's actually giving a smirk. I don't know why, but his eyes, I think they're blue, but they look like they should be light piped, but they're not light piped, so they just look like they're dead eyes, which is never a good thing. Uh, Detail-wise, you just got little bits of yellow revealed in robot mode on his crotch, on his D's, and on his shins, I don't know why. And that's basically it. Articulation wise, head is on a ball joint. You do get full swivel. You get up and down. A little bit of tiltage. Not too much, but it's a, it's a low. It's a, it's a touch. You can get them looking a little quizzical. Shoulders are on a ball joint. Very nice range of motion there. It can go that far out due to the cut in the top. And if you need more. You can pop it right off. No, don't do that. But you can use the transformation joint to have him... I don't know what he's doing there. <laughs> but you can do that. That's a thing you can do. He does have a bicep sole. It is a mushroom peg. I believe. You can't actually see it because it's hidden amongst the plastic. It's nice that there's, there's actually a lot more plastic in the arms than there normally is. Uh, double elbow, very nice, very full curl for transformation. You don't really have access to the wrist joints, but you can do that because, you know, transformation, you can kind of bend it inwards, but it immediately comes out of its uh, holding place. So don't do that. No, there's there, the, sh the elbows aren't ratcheted, but they're definitely tight, and they... They look like they'd be faux ratcheted, but no, I'm not hearing any clicking. Uh, he has a f unin uninter uh, <laughs> He's a very free waist joint. Can go the full 360. Hips outwards can go about that far. Not quite the full Van Dam, but it's close enough. Looks good. Uh, thigh swivels all the way down, right above the knee, which is weird. But it keep it keeps this piece looking like one solid piece because it is one solid piece. Uh, knee bend, nicely placed knee bend. I <laughs> Funny enough, I always hear Vangelis complain about where the knee is, because if, like, if the knee is too high, it doesn't look like anything's happening, but yeah, it looks like you're moving a giant shin, so definitely a well-placed knee joint. You, you do get about 90 degrees. Yeah, I'd call that 90. And his toe can flap, or his foot can flap, I guess. But that's about it for Sergeant Cup. Uh, very nice mold, very nice uh, figure. My only complaint is again the color scheme. Like the compared to the Takara one, this one just I don't know what it's going for. Is it like I think it might actually I think it might just be going for the G1 toy color scheme because that's what Hasbro tends to go for is the toy color schemes where has. Where Takara goes more often for the cartoon. And also, the Takara had ma had Titan Masters all came with their Target Master weapons. Ha, hot Rod, Cup, I'm trying to think of others. Like, the later waves actually came with their, uh, probably, uh, Trigger Happy, m Misfire, like, they all came with actual target masters, and I wish, I wish this guy had his target master. You can kind uh, if I go over to Cyclonus, I can probably take Cyclonus' target master and give him the cup, but I'm not going to because Cyclonus needs his own gun. So for the last, we're just gonna give. Cup his twin 
ho howitzers. I'm just going to call them howitzers because that's a pretty big, mean gun. And, uh, be back in a second because I forgot something. And I'm back. So, for one last comparison, here he is with, again, the other Generation Sergeant Cup. Going for very different aesthetics once again. Uh, I like, I like some things this one does. I also like some things this one does. I appreciate how this one doesn't have, uh, truck panels covering up his hands. But I also like the leg transformation. Like, the feet is just, mm -hmm. Although this one has nice legs, too. <laughs> Uh, so the final question is, should you get this guy? If you have this guy, you don't really need to, unless you want more than one uh, Sergeant Cup on your display. If you don't have either and you're, like, searching for a cup, I recommend this guy. You can also get this mold repainted as a uh, Swerved. If you never picked up the uh, Legends class Generation Swerve, he does make a decent swerve. So, uh, I believe that's everything. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, until next time, keep it weird.